the Yeti Hopper Flip. It's the most portable hopper to date. And it's always ready to take on the day, wherever it leads. Thanks to double-stitched handles and an ergonomic shoulder strap, the flip is easy to grab and go. I never loved this cool weather in my life. It's built like a tank, a tank made from similar materials used in whitewater rafts. So go ahead, nature, do your worst. The flip takes anything you dish out. With a tough-as-nails dry hide shell, it's proof that tough comes in all shapes and sizes. The watertight hydrolock zipper keeps anything you put in. No leaks, no fails, no holding back. I look down that old road, just far as I could see. With the hitch point grid, you can securely connect the flip to anything, and vice versa. The flip's wide mouth opening makes it easy to snag what you need at the end of the day. And cold cell insulation ensures that whatever goes in cold, comes out cold. No matter what the day brings, the flip is always ready to do it again tomorrow. This is the NRS Kayak Bilge Pump. It's an essential piece of safety equipment for any touring kayaker. The pump is 21 inches long and uses stainless steel screws to help reduce rust buildup. It also includes a built-in float in case you drop it in the water. It can pump up to eight gallons per minute and doesn't require a hose. The NRS Kayak Bilge Pump is a must for kayakers paddling away from shore. It can bail you and your boat out of a bad situation. This is the Hustle Fly Fest. It's a low profile life jacket. It's made of a sculpted foam platform. It also has a shelf in the front so that it sculpts to your torso nicely. It's a side entry vest with three adjustment straps on both sides and then two on the shoulders so you can really get it adjusted to your body. It has a large clamshell front pocket with organization inside for all your essentials. It also has a knife flash tab on the front. The back foam panel is full coverage for your back, but it's sculpted on the sides for full range of motion. And then there's a stretch neo on the inside uh, for comfort next to skin or over a layer. This is the NRS Drylander Shock Cord Spray Skirt. The tunnel is made from a stretchy two millimeter neoprene that's comfortable and non-restrictive. The deck is made from a 4mm neoprene for a drum tight fit. And our tough infinity coating on the edges protects the high wear areas from paddle strikes and abrasions. The shock cord bungee is easy to put on and holds tight to prevent implosions. A convenient grab handle aids when exiting your kayak. And on the underside of the deck, there's a rubberized coating that grips your kayak combing and prevents slippage. And three deck sizes and four waist sizes ensures a custom fit for you and your kayak. The Drylander Shock Cord Spray Skirt is a great choice for any kayaker heading out into rough conditions. Hi, I'm Luke with NRS. Today we're going to talk about the NRS Havoc Helmet. The NRS Havoc is a great choice for anyone who's looking to get a helmet with good protection at an affordable price. One of the best features of the NRS Havoc is that it's a universal fit sizing. This allows you to fit a wide variety of head shapes and sizes. It also comes with a closed cell EVA foam liner that offers great protection for nearly any water sport activity. We've also included plush fit pads in the front and the back of the helmet that provide extra comfort for all day use. The NRS Havoc uses an adjustable dial fit system that allows you to get a comfortable and customized fit every time. The Havoc helmet also incorporates a lightweight and durable ABS plastic shell that offers great impact protection. The 10 ventilation ports allow airflow in and water out. This is a great helmet for anyone looking to fit a wide variety of people. Whether you're an outfitter, 
or someone that has friends looking to tag along, the Havoc is a perfect choice. Price, sizing, and durability make the Havoc a great choice for anyone looking to get out on the water. This is the best marine and outdoors kayak anchor. The first thing you'll notice when you receive your anchor is that it comes in a nice nylon storage bag, which keeps the anchor, the rope, the buoy ball, and the carabina all together so that it's not falling all over the place, whether it's inside your kayak, your canoe, your garage, your shed, or wherever else you might be storing your anchor. After removing your anchor from the nylon storage bag, you'll notice that it comes with four key components. You have the anchor itself, a 40 foot marine grade rope, a stainless steel carabina clip, and a buoy ball that helps keep the rope afloat. To unlock or open the anchor, simply turn the locking collar to the unlocked position, slide the collar up, fold the four flukes down, slide the collar back down, and then turn into the lock position. This will prevent the four flukes from closing. To properly use the anchor, the first thing you want to do is take the stainless steel carabina clip and attach it to your boat. Once your anchor line is securely attached to your boat, simply drop the anchor into the water, releasing as much of the 40 foot rope as possible. The goal here is to get the anchor to flip on its side and establish horizontal drag along the bottom surface. For situations requiring a quick disconnect, simply unclip the carabiner from your boat, throw the anchor line into the water, and the buoy ball will keep the rope afloat, which makes it easy to find when you return back to your original position. Our three and a half pound folding anchor can be used with kayaks, canoes, jet skis, dinghies, or any other types of small boats. There's two things to keep in mind in order to extend the longevity of your anchor. The first thing is to always rinse the anchor free of salt, and the second thing is to always let the anchor line thoroughly dry before long periods of storage.